Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. And today we're looking at the last doll in the Creepover collection. It is Claudine Wolf. This is like my fourth or fifth Claudine. And I'm very happy to finally have all the dolls out of their boxes. So now I can start posing them and maybe wash their hair. We'll see what I've decided to do there. I got this doll on Palmart. It was $29.99, no shipping or taxes. So I pretty much paid what I was going to pay in the store if I found her at a Walmart or something like that, you know? And also these dolls all come with one glow in the dark accessory and her seems seems to be this pillow right yeah. here. So we're gonna see how that glows later on in the video. So if you haven't watched any of my other Creepover doll reviews, I might link it down below if I remember. I, <laughs> I always forget. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let me just roll my intro real quickly and then we can get into Miss Claudine Wolf. No. Okay guys, so today we're looking at Claudine Wolf. She's the last doll I needed to review from this Creepover collection. There's only four dolls at the moment. I'm not sure if they're ever gonna do a wave two. I would love to see a wave two if they get more characters into the Monster High series. So far, we've been seeing just a lot of repeats of Claudine, Frankie, and Draculaura. So I would love to see a Laguna or even a Cleo. And of course, as we get more older characters reintroduced, I think that'd be dope to see more into a Creepover line. But basically the premise of the line is they're all having a slumber party and this is where Twilight was introduced. I did a review on Twilight three days ago. So if you want to watch that video, um, it's on my channel. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's look at the box and, and then we can get Miss Claudine Wolf out. So just like the other dolls in the collection, they all have a very similar box. The only thing different about it is what's inside. So unlike the other dolls that came out from the basic wave, they all have the same artwork in the corner and the same art on this side. So the inside of the box is a bunch of shades of purple, along with this side being a dark purple as well. And the Monster High logo has holographic stars in it to kind of mimic the night sky. Claudine is in the middle of course and on the side are all of her little accessories and present and then we have the artwork for all four characters in the collection we have Claudine, Twyla, Dracula and Frankie and it just says a creepover party and here's a better view of all the things on the side and now if I turn it to the back of the box you can see the artwork for this collection it seems like they're chilling in Claudine, Dracula and Frankie's dorm room and then Twyla's just there she's just vibing you know being a boogeyman and you can see Claudine's art is very very cute this time around he is holding a box of Screecha and also also eating a slice of it. Crescent looks like he wants a little nibble, but she's not giving it to him. <laughs> There's a cute little couch of all three of their pillows and the other ghouls are just on the floor, you know, doing slumber party things. There's also this cute little bulletin board that has some artwork. And on the bottom for her bio, it says, creepover must-haves are a furry eye mask. Her monster midnight snack is kombucha and screecha and her favorite creepover activity is ghost stories. And if you're looking for Claudine, this is her barcode. So go ahead and use this as you need. Let me just not shake it. <laughs> but yeah, this is basically G3's equivalent to dead tired which is down here you just never see it because you know it's hidden and there's blue york if you were wondering <laughs> anyways guys now that we pretty much looked at the box i'm now gonna open claudine so we can get a further look at her because i haven't really seen too much pictures of this doll and then again not many people have found them yet so let's open her shall we Okay guys, so Claudine is out of the box and honestly, she's a lot cuter out of the box. I'm actually surprised her hair is quite longer than I thought it was going to be. I mean, it's still poly. Anyways guys, let me show you everything that Claudine came with first and then we can move on to the physical doll. So first things first, Claudine comes with her kombucha drink. It's in a little silver can and it has a little label on it that is a sticker and it looks like a sky with a moon that's a lime green color. And it says something right there along with nutrition fact. She has a metal straw and it is silver with a little spider web on it. She is saving the turtles. We gotta stand that. Next, Claudine comes with a sleeping mask. Now, this is what I wish all of the ghouls came with. Just a little sleeping mask because it just makes sense. Hers is purple, of course, because that is Claudine's signature color. And it has a little painted on black eyelashes that look like they're sleeping, along with little white teeth. And to take it on and off, there's a little peg. So all you gotta do is open that and put it over the doll's head. Now, surprisingly, this one isn't as gummy as Twyla's. It's a little more sturdier. Next, we get Claudine's pillow. It is the glow-in-the-dark feature for her doll. It is a moon that has a bunch of splatter edges and there's also a purple splatter mark on the physical moon and it kind of just looks like a little ghoul it even has like little hands and it looks like it's haunting 
And here it is all glowing. Again, I'm surprised I can actually capture these on camera and it glows pretty bright. Again, it wasn't really in the lighting for that long. I'm definitely gonna see this while I'm sleeping. So um, it's kind of cool, I guess. Let me know your thoughts on the glow in the dark features for all four of these dolls down below. Next, Claudine comes with her screech up box and it's of course in the shape of a coffin. It's a purple plastic that kind of feels almost 3D printed in a way. And it has a decal on the front that can make it look like kind of cardboard. There's some orange teeth along with a logo that says Monster Pizza. And and an OG monster high hand holding a slice of screech up. And there's nothing on the back. And it does open so you could put the pizza that Claudine came with inside. The pizza in question is right here. It made me think that she came with a board game and not a pizza, so um, interesting. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like a pizza hut, like pan pizza, like one of those big family dinner meals that were kind of good, I don't know. They usually came with like those cinnamon like breadsticks or something, I don't know. But it's a pizza that's for monsters, of course, because it's a coffin and all the little toppings are like bugs and all that other jazz. And then you could just put your pizza in there and close it up and now you have a pizza. Next, we have a new crescent. This time it looks like they are just about to to kind of prounce in the way, but also it looks like they are just about to relax on their little chair. Crescent is pretty much the same colors as their original and nothing else has really changed other than the pose. And Crescent actually comes with their own little chair. This will look good with the Claudine bedroom playset because it has the same kind of motif going on. It's a transparent purple plastic with a pink top that is supposed to emulate a furry chair. And the little backing is a gold Crescent moon. And you just put Crescent on top like that and hope he stays on. So now that we pretty much looked at all of Claudine's accessories, it's now time to look at Claudine herself. So this Claudine does have a slightly different screening this time around. I've been noticing that a lot of the makeup kind of stays on all the dolls that are coming out for G3. It's like some kind of similar variation. So this one is different. Um, I'm happy about that. So let's start from her head and move all the way down to her feet. So Claudine sadly still has polypropylene hair. If you guys know, I'm not really the biggest fan of this fiber. It's pretty cheap and I just wish they would use Saran or a better quality nylon. My friend Opalescent Dot Toys Instagram told me how to manage polypropylene and I did make a video on here along with all my other socials like a short showing that so um, make sure to check that out and also follow them because icon obviously but yeah she has her normal hair blend and the hairstyle this time around is just pulled up into a mini ponytail almost a half up half down kind of style with some pieces hanging down so she has like little tendrils I think it's actually really cute especially if you just do the hair but yeah I'm definitely excited to wash her hair I know it's weird to say that but now that I've done one doll I think I can manage doing the rest of Claudine. Moving on to Claudine's face, she has on some painted baby hairs, just like all of her dolls so far have had. She has her dark brown eyebrows. As for her eye makeup, I actually think it's really, really pretty. It almost kind of looks like a sticker decal because of how it is, but it is properly printed on. So we have a lighter purple on the lid and a darker purple above that, and then a lilac above that purple, and there's also some of that lilac under her eye as well. There's her normal brown eyes, and she also has her cute little freckles and her wolf nose. She's also wearing this very pretty coral lipstick that shows her little white fangs. Now we move on to Claudine's pajamas. She's wearing a three-piece pajama set. It seems like all the dolls have that except for Twyla. So Claudine is wearing more of a jacket rather than a robe. So she has a really curly fluffy coat on and it is this really pretty periwinkle color. It also has a really nice collar and it does have these little strings holding these little plastic pom-poms. Now some people are kind of mad that they're made of plastic. I actually kind of prefer them being plastic because with my experience with pom poms on Mattel dolls. Freak to Chic Twyla comes to mind. They kind of come off if you're a little too rough with them or you don't store them properly. So I'm actually not mad that these are plastic. I do kind of wish that they maybe were flocked plastic just so it gives up that vibe. But I do like how they're made of a harder plastic because then you can actually like swing them around and let gravity do its thing. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that below. But they're the same color as her jacket. Now under the little jacket, she's wearing a t-shirt and it basically is a navy blue color and it says creep all day. As for Claudine's pajama pants, she is wearing wearing obviously longer pajama pants. They seem to all have it except for Twyla. She's wearing like a skirt and a sweater. But for hers, she has a white waistband that says monster all around it and it is elastic. So there's no Velcro needed here. They just go on and off. And then we move on to the main pants, which is purple and it looks like it's been scratched. It's a lighter purple and a darker purple. And then it also has a bunch of crescent moons all over it and they're in black and white and multiple sizes. And on the bottom, they have a little bit of elastic again so it could go over the ankles and be a little more tighter. Now as for Claudine's, 
little slippers. I actually really like these. I think they actually look a little better than Dracula's. Now I say that because Dracula's had those really creepy bat faces on them and these ones are kind of like, oh, I guess. <laughs> um, I do wish they were flocked, but I actually was kind of considering flocking the sandals to be honest. But she's wearing these purple little slippers that have the toes cut out. And for the faces on them, they're just black eyes with little white teeth and they're currently rubber banded onto her foot. And on the bottom, there's just little crescent moons again. Now, if you're unaware of Monster High Articulation for Generation 3, they have head articulation. They can move at the bust, shoulder, the elbow, the wrist. They can sit and bend their knees. But yeah, I'm going to try on her little sleeping mask. So I was trying to put this on, but there's like, it's not fastening in the back. Like it won't even reach to the back. Pretty much this would be how I could actually get it on. And make... Anyways, guys, now that we pretty much looked over Claudine in full depth, let me put her on a stand and pose her and we can end off this review. Okay, guys, so I put Claudine on a stand and she's just holding her pillow. I was trying to give her the pizza box, but it's just a bit too heavy and awkward for her to hold. But anyways, guys, I'm actually really pleased with this doll. Like at first she was really not my favorite from the collection, but now that I've seen her and I know that I can probably fix her hair, I might actually really like this doll a lot. <laughs> I like how they didn't give her the same robe. Even her texture is a little different than the other ghouls in this collection. And I am happy that all of them have one different glow in the dark accessory rather than them all having the same. They could have easily just said all the pillows are going to be glow in the dark, but they all got something different. So that's really cool. Again, my only complaints really with Claudine are I really just hate polypropylene hair. I'd rather them just do a nice normal nylon, like a good quality nylon rather than poly. But again, coming from like a potential child, it's just going to be a rat's nest real fast. So, but other than that, I think the doll is actually really pretty. I think she has a really cute face and her pajamas are actually not too bad. I actually think they're really cute. I really do love the slippers the most. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on Claudine down below in the comments. And let me know if you found these yet or if you bought them from Walmart XYZ. They are popping up so far in Walmart. I'm not sure exactly where, but they're popping up. Just know that. <laughs> if this is your first time to my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff. Duh. And I'd love you to join the channel. And if you aren't following me on Instagram or on TikTok, it's at zombie x corn and guys i will see you next week some more monster hype themed videos so for now bye